Islanders, Shark fans, welcome back to another brief video. So, today's video, one of you guys, a subscriber, Alan Kentish, thank you by the way, sent me a video link from 10 years ago from the Isle of Mull off the west coast of Scotland where a shark goes underneath a kayak and disappears. Now it's a bit choppy, <sighs> video quality's not the best, I'll show it in a second. I wanted to share it with you guys, bit of a debate really. So I'll roll a little bit of the clip now and then we'll talk about it afterwards, so roll the clip. <laughs> So, from within the comments, everyone assumed, not everyone, but a lot of people, that it was a basking shark. Now, the Isle of Mull is actually a basking shark hotspot, same as where I live on the Isle of Man. I've seen plenty of basking sharks, both within the water when swimming, on kayaks. When I first saw this video, based on the dorsal fin alone, I don't think this is a basking shark. This was filmed, from what I can see, in the summer of 2012, so 10 years ago. Uh, there is a difference between basking shark uh, dorsal fin and uh, a great white dorsal fin. The apex tends to be more rounded on a basking shark, whereas uh, on a great white it's more pointy. There's no denying, and I do apologise for the quality, but it's the best I've got here. Uh, I'll do a freeze frame. This does not look like a basking shark fin. I've seen plenty of basking shark fins. I'll put basking shark fins on the screen now. They tend to be more rounded, a little bit wider, whereas this is very triangular, the apex. Uh, I'll put some terminology on the screen. It doesn't look like a basket shark. What do you guys think? Also, you know, I've seen some comments. I put it on Instagram earlier on for a bit of a debate. At the time of making this video, it was fairly split down the middle. Everyone thought 50% could be a great white, 50% uh, could be a basket shark. Now, let's not forget short fin Atlantic Mako shark. Those things are fairly big as well. Disclaimer, there's, there's photos of dead sharks here, but the one that was captured in the it was the 70s or something that's how big they get in british waters and a few others from around the world these are a big shark could it be in one of them possibly uh, they're known to frequent our waters all year round uh, i mean let's face it the video quality is not great there might be a bit of trickery of light we don't know i've taken the video as is which i'm linking below by the way if you want to watch it in full have a ski but the way their mouth shape is now i'll try and go back and forth uh, sort of freeze frame in here that does not look like a basking shark to me, the way the mouth opens and closes. Uh, they've got quite a distended jaw, quite lower set back, but again, image quality, I'm just sort of sharing this with you guys. Uh, basking sharks are quite a slow shark, around about two knots, so 2.3 miles per hour generally, but they have been seen to you know, move fairly abruptly. There's been some footage of them breaching the water in the past, uh, but the way this shark cut down and went under the kayak, that was very nimble. Uh, it's hard to work out the size of the shark based on this, there's no real reference points. It's a nice calm day, like when I've been out kayaking in the past, it'd be very easy to identify what this is because the uh, visibility of the water would have been better, but it's quite a choppy day actually. Fair play to the people being out in the kayak. Now a few weeks ago, I'll just share this with you, uh, talking about good conditions, a great white shark did pop up and give a kayaker a bit of a surprise. I'm sure you've all seen it, I think I've shared it on various social media channels, but they go a uh, bit of a difference in image quality, but they do take a bit of an interest in uh, sort of kayakers in general. They've been seen to sort of circle kayakers and paddle waters. Check out the Malibu artist. He has got loads of drone footage of this happening. Nine times out of 10, you'll have never known they've even been there. Don't think it's a poor beagle, and I've covered this in the past, talking about fin uh, terminology, but poor beagles, dorsal fins tend to be a little bit more rounded. Hello, good guy. They are essentially very, very much like uh, a miniature great white physiology. They're a Lambert Day shark, similar coloration. Put a picture of one up on the screen that washed up on a beach. You can see that they do have a resemblance. Could it be one of them? Possible. I mean, it's, it's entirely possible. It is a basking shark, but haven't seen plenty of them in the wild. That dorsal fin does not look like something from a basking shark. And especially when you do the freeze frame on the mouth, it does look, it doesn't look like a basking shark to me with the white coloration. The Isle of Mull is a very diverse place, a little bit like where I live. Quite a large seal colony there with Atlantic grey seals. You've got your harbour or common seals, plenty of dolphins. They're known to have orcas pass through. 
uh, and obviously the Baskin Sharks. Now you might think if there's large Baskin Sharks, maybe the Great Whites wouldn't come close. In California, about two years ago, it was videoed Great White Sharks feeding on a Baskin Shark. So, you know, sharks are cannibals, they will eat each other. Uh, I've covered that before. They won't be put off by that. I get this question all the time as well. I don't believe that there's enough orcas in British waters to scare off the Great Whites like there is in South Africa. We know there's a couple of rogue orcas out absolutely tanking the Great Whites. They really are the apex predator down there. Now, I looked at the weather from 2012 and it wasn't a particularly warm year. If you look at when I did the sightings video, 2003 was a real hot year and there was loads of sightings. Uh, whereas 2012 was, I think it was the wettest year on record for a hundred years and temperatures were sort of below average. So it wasn't anything special about that year. If you look at the latitude of sort of the Isle of Mull, it's a bit higher up. And I've said in previous videos, I do believe that Northwest Atlantic Great Whites will be coming in at that sort of level in Scotland. I think Scotland is the prime place we're gonna see these, especially with the largest seal colonies in Europe, in Scotland. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I'll play it again now at the end of the video. Uh, it's linked below, but what do you guys think? But yeah, please keep sending me the information. And thanks Alan again for sharing this with me. I had never seen it before. Very interesting times, scientifically. There's no reason why we do not have great white sharks in our waters. They are a very rare fish. You have to remember that. I'm not saying we have an abundance of them or loads of them. Based on this video, it might be a Baskin shark. I don't think it is. Have your say, what do you think? And uh, just interestingly as well, I read somewhere the other day that our bluefin tuna stocks, our quota in the UK or whatever, is at its highest uh, on record. So we have got lots of large large uh, food items floating around. So hey, thanks for watching anyway. I always try to keep these videos fairly brief. I uh, hope it's been informative and uh, like I always say, if anything's worthwhile showing, I will do it. Stand by for the boat adventures next year. We are going chumming and uh, we are gonna see what's, what's out there. Not just sharks, there's all sorts out there. Stay safe, uh, have a great Christmas everybody and uh, thank you again for continuing to support the channel. Cheers guys, have a good one. Where is it? Where is it? Guys, where is it? Where is it? Paddle, Alf, the paddle. Oh, guys, is that over there? Is that over there? Guys, that's over there, that's over there. It's there, guys. Oh, no, wait, I don't know where it is, guys. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God, guys. It's over there, it's fine, it's there. Oh my god! Oh.